Hi, this is Heath with BuildBox. In this video, we're going to have a look at gameplay and character settings. We'll explore different world settings that change gameplay, how to change just character settings that further modify gameplay, and how to put it all together to create something unique and fun to play. Let's start out with this simple platformer style game and have a look at how it currently behaves. Seems fairly average for a platformer, which isn't bad, but let's have a look at how we can change it to something a little more interesting. In the menu editor, we see our world that contains the scenes we just played. This is where we would find the options to change global settings affecting the physics of the world. Let's change the time warp setting and see how that affects our game. Definitely faster, but maybe somewhere in between would be better. Let's have a play with the gravity in our game. Maybe something like the gravity on the moon, for example. Let's lower the number and see how that affects our game. I think I would prefer it somewhere in between. The friction setting increases or decreases the friction between all objects. With this, we can make it harder for the character to push the physics objects around. Let's change the friction and see how it plays. Definitely more interesting. Let's increase our velocity drag. Velocity drag places a force on moving objects, causing them to slow down. Let's see what our new setting does to our physics objects. Let's change that back. Next is bounce. This will change the bounce force between all objects in the game. Hmm, that might be a bit much. That's better. Score multiplier is used in distance-based scoring and allows you to increase or decrease the points earned as the character progresses through the game. Game direction changes the direction the game is played in. Finally, Camera Smooth can make the camera move fast but more jerky, or slow and smooth. Better to use the default setting until you dive deeper into your game. Changes made to the world settings affect how the physics of the game acts upon the objects in the world. But we can also change just character behavior as well. Let's see if we can make our character behave like it does in Trey Smith's phases. Let's play with the bounce force of our character. Perfect. Let's experiment with our air drag and see if we can make our character look like it's underwater. That's interesting. Now I think we will need to increase our bounce force. That's unique. There are also character components that can affect gameplay, but we will cover this at another time. I will leave you with a few character settings left to discover. Have a play with your character and world settings to create a game unique and fun to play. In review, we learned how to change world settings so they affect the physics that acts upon the objects in the world, and we learned how to change character settings that affect just the behavior of the character. Thank you for joining us. Find more helpful videos at buildbox.com.